latest vote totals coming in right now. And new tonight at 9, the election protesters marching to the Colorado Capitol. A Trump flag burned mm. in this intersection. Thank you all for all of your support. And Colorado's changing politics. You have to say it's a state of the column. Are we really a blue state now? Plus COVID in Colorado, the numbers going up. Is Denver considering a new curfew? Mm -hmm. We're on it. And the record heat. There's more to come and a chance of snow, too. Lots ahead tonight. We do want to start, though, with breaking news tonight and new video from Denver, Sky Fox, and this ground video from a protest where earlier we saw protesters trying to light a Trump flag and an American flag on fire. They shot off fireworks, too. Started near Cheeseman Park, and it marched to the Capitol. And some new video from Sky Fox showing a glass doors at a bank. That's the UMB, uh, UMB Bank near Colfax and Park Avenue, busted out by those protesters. We've just seen windows broken at a check cashing and payday loan shop right down the street, too. And now we want to show you some live pictures where police just told our Sky Fox crew that police were able to get that crowd to disperse just a few minutes ago. So some good news there. That is good news. Fox 31 is Greg Nieto on scene now live with the latest for us, Greg. Yeah, Jeremy, uh, we are hearing word about some arrests further east of our location here at Colfax and Washington. Uh, I got to tell you, at least one thing is for certain, this protest was not about the election at different parts of time. We did hear uh, folks talking uh, about or chanting anti-Trump anti-Biden and anti-police. The protest itself stepped off at Cheeseman Park at about 6.30 this evening. The uh, group uh, reached anywhere from 100 to 150 people making their way down Colfax. The goal was to get to the Capitol, which they did. The groups taking part today included uh, People's World and also other groups posting online about the event included Denver DSA chapter of the Democratic Socialists of America, as well as Northern Colorado Community Mutual aid and defense. Now, on the way back from the Capitol, protesters stopped as they often have here at Colfax in Washington, a brief a clash with police outside of District 6 headquarters. At that point, a, a dumpster was lit on fire. Police were able to move the protesters back, and I actually heard protesters say, let's pull back and head toward Cheeseman Park. Again, a, a live lookout here, a much different story here at the Colfax in Washington. Traffic mm -hmm. being allowed through here. I talked about uh, arrests. We had heard word of a handful of arrests further east down Colfax. Checked in with both the state patrol as well as the Denver police are trying to confirm those numbers. But again, right now, Colfax is a back to a business as usual. Denver police continue to monitor the situation as the protesters make their way back to Cheeseman again, east of our location, along with Colorado State Patrol. Live here along East Colfax, for example, Fox 31. All right, Greg, let's talk politics. We are your local election headquarters. We have the latest on the three states where President Trump has filed lawsuits to stop the vote counting. Michigan, which has already been called for Biden, and Pennsylvania and Georgia, where Trump has a narrow lead right now. And here's where the electoral vote stands right now with Biden just six votes away from 270. That magic number we continue to remind you about. President Trump with fewer and fewer paths to re-election. Fox 31's Matt Morrow on it now with more on those tallies that are coming in tonight, Matt. They are coming in just about every hour now. And right now, Jerry Joe Biden is on the cusp of becoming the 46th president of the United States. He needs to win just one more state, any one of these that has not been called, while Donald Trump needs to win every single state that has not been called if he wants to stay in the White house we could have a much more definitive answer come tomorrow morning maybe even the middle of tonight uh, tonight tomorrow that's when we're going to get the results from nevada take a look right here this is the one state where joe biden is in the lead right now he's up by about eight thousand votes many of these more to get counted we have a couple thousand coming in from the uh, clark county area there are tens of thousands of votes here that still need to be counted this area right here is full of democratic votes there are also some people in clark county who are unhappy about the election results take a look This is in Detroit. We'll get back to Detroit in a second. Let's go to Clark County right now. This is where this happened right here. There was a news conference. This person in a uh, barbecue beer and freedom shirt got in the middle of some election results that were being given right here. This is one of the reasons why Clark County did not want to come out with more results tonight. Now, let's take it to Detroit. This is another area where there were a lot of issues. People here were trying to get inside to go ahead and take a look at the uh, TCF Center. It's where there was vote counting going on. Some said there weren't enough people watching the votes. Both sides, Republicans 
Republicans and Democrats certainly have a right to watch there. And the Associated Press was inside and said, yes, both Democrats and Republicans did have representatives inside. Meanwhile, again, Michigan, one of the states that Trump campaign is suing. The AP called it for Biden just a few hours ago. Plus, the Biden camp or uh, the Trump campaign is suing Georgia. Still too close to call tonight. And they're suing Pennsylvania again, which the president's campaign is falsely saying they won. A reminder, that is simply not true. There are still a million votes to be counted there. All of these lawsuits are demanding that the ballots stop being counted right away. Plus, the Trump campaign wants a recount in Wisconsin. Biden is up there by about 20,000 votes. And don't forget this. Four years ago, Jill Stein's campaign wanted a recount in Wisconsin. It cost three and a half million bucks. It did get Donald Trump more votes, 131 of them. Jeremy? All right, not an inexpensive proposition, Matt. Thank you. Tonight, some businesses still boarded up in parts of downtown Denver. As we've seen, there have been concerns and warnings about the potential for problems as a result of the presidential election. Fox 31 reporter Vicente Arena is joining us along Broadway with what business owners are telling him. Vicente. And since then, we've moved to the 16th Street Mall. When we came down here today, we thought that we might see more businesses like the Hard Rock Cafe here, maybe pulling some of their plywood down. But what we saw was more businesses actually putting more plywood up. It's very safe place. But uh, these days, uh, anything can happen, yeah, that's the problem here. And so many crazy people uh, also walk around here, and sometimes they come inside and do some crazy things. Along the 16th Street Mall, there are signs that business here is getting back to normal. Still, shop after shop, like Mount Everest Imports, boarded up for protection, are struggling. When we cover that uh, board, very few people come. So just opening and closing. No more customers. But still, for safety, it's good. A day after the election and fears of possible unrest, other businesses today were still beginning to cover their storefronts with plywood costing hundreds of dollars. The city sent a warning saying there could be problems. Got this uh, later, this flyer. Then we thought uh, it's good to cover. Some businesses already had the plywood after having used it during George Floyd protests this summer. Little did they know they'd be using it during the presidential election. Back at Mount Everest Imports, the store is filled with good karma. We could all use a little bit of that during these turbulent times. So many of the businesses here just wanting things to get back to normal, but they're telling us they may have to leave this plywood up for a while because of the pandemic and because of the election taking place now. Along the 16th Street Mall, Vicente Arenas, Fox 31. Vicente, thank you. Asked for the election, that blue wave here in Colorado with Hickenlooper's win yesterday, the flip of the CU Board of Regents. Democrats now hold majorities in the state capitol and in Washington, D.C. So is that enough to make Colorado what they call a blue state? Fox 31's Evan Krugel speaking with political analysts about the state of Colorado politics.